as we talked about yesterday, quite a pattern upcoming next weekend and then the following week as we have an ardent injection of cold air and I'm telling you a lot of crazy solutions being shown by our computer models. Now I've already said this the computer models I believe are used wrong a lot by meteorologists we take them literally this far out. What I do is I look at the overall weather pattern I believe the models are signaling that there's some cold air coming and we're going to have some snow and ice across the Midwest, Northeast, maybe Mid-Atlantic. The exact details aren't there quite yet, but the pattern is showing that we have some major problems coming next weekend and then the following week. I'm putting out a windshield wiper effect warning for the nation beginning next weekend. And what in the world am I talking about? Well, what is the windshield wiper effect? It was popularized by Bernie Reno, so I'm going to define it. What it's describing is the shifting of model data from model run to model run. What do I mean by that? We have computer models that come out four times a day, and they will shift the solutions every single run. For the weather enthusiasts and meteorologists as well, it creates headaches because things can change quickly with this. You want to see an example of a major windshield wiper effect? Let me take you to what happened yesterday. This is for our weekend storm. This was a run of the American model, which by the way is does this a lot. This is a run of the American model yesterday afternoon. Watch what happens Saturday and the Sunday here as we go forward. So this is the American model. This is Friday. Look what it's showing. What a snowstorm. Look at the snowstorm from near Kansas City, St. Louis, Indianapolis, all of central Ohio. There'd be a large area of 6 to 12 inches. Some spots would get over a foot of snow with this. Ice all the way down to Washington, D.C. Heavy snow or close call in Philadelphia, New York City, Boston. What a snowstorm. That was the run that came out at 1 o'clock yesterday afternoon. Six hours later... You ready? Where'd it go? It's gone. All gone. The afternoon model run, the evening model run yesterday. Welcome to the windshield wiper effect. Yeah. Now, I don't get caught up in the windshield wiper effect. I call it because it's the shifting model. What I like to do, I don't go back and forth. I stay right in the middle. The pattern is ripe for I think two storms. I, I tweeted this out on my X account, I'm at Accurano. two storms. Now, why am I convinced that there's going to be uh, a, a threat for two storms? Because next week, look at this cold injection. This is Friday. Look at the cold air coming. You're 32 degree guy. Now this is gonna shift. But to get the idea that you've got a lot of Arctic air coming south late next week, and what's the other Reno rule we have? When you get an injection of cold air, you have the possibility of the storm. And there are two threats, Saturday uh, over next weekend and early next week. You see, you've got all this cold air. Now, how is it going to translate? I'm not sure yet. But let me show you the upper air for the American-European model, and this will shift too. This is next Friday. What are we looking at now? This is the European model. You've got a polar vortex here. This is sending a lot of cold air southward, and you have this energy that's going to be coming across the north central United States. Now, one of the keys is what is going to happen? You have an area of high pressure here across the southeast. If this is stronger, this will force the storm over the weekend across the Midwest. The snow's here, and along the East Coast, it's a warm-up in rain. The European says not really. The, 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 the upper high is way down here across the Yucatan Peninsula. There is a storm that's going to cut up west of the Appalachians, but it's a close call. See that? There it goes as we get into Sunday, Monday. Look at the energy. The, G, the America model, a lot different. It says, well, not really. The the upper the, the, the energy is not strung out across Canada. Look at the difference. European American. European American see that? Brings the cold air in, not much with it, and it's dry next weekend, and then you could have a storm early next week. But the idea is you have an injection of cold air coming next weekend. That tells me there's going to be a storm. Let me show you the surface pattern. This is the European. Now, I think this is 
kind of the right idea. See, you have a storm. There it goes. The first one tries to come up west of the Appalachians. So this is a snow and ice for parts of the Southern Plains and the Midwest. The American model kind of shows the same thing right in there. You see that? In here, you get some snow and ice. That goes by. Here comes the cold air, right? And then you've got the next storm coming down the pike. That would be early next week. There's the European that the shot then comes across the upper Midwest and into the Northeast, maybe the Mid-Atlantic early next week. The European shows a storm, but still it shows that the storm's to the West and to the North. Now, we don't know the exact details yet on this, but with the injection of cold air coming, I continue to believe there's going to be two shots of snow. The first shot is, is going to be this weekend. I am starting to believe that the first storm is going to come out of the Rockies. The question is, I'm not sure of this yet. Does it come across the mid-Atlantic or does the storm come and cut to the northeast? I'm not sure yet. So I would tell you next weekend, the threat is from the upper Midwest toward New England. Then early next week, the early the following week, as we get into the 25 to 26, that's where I think you have a better shot of some snow. And I think the European has kind of the right idea. The storm goes by, here comes more energy, and then your shot for the Northeast and Mid-Atlantic would be somewhere around the 27th, 28th. Model mayhem, windshield wiper warning in effect, but storms are coming next weekend and then the following week. Stay tuned.